Last year, the same spot, the grass died, okay? See, on this ridge here of my lawn, right here, we got a nice lawn, pretty mint. But you can see, a little bare spot, a little bare spot, all on this line right here. See, a couple little bare spots. I just put this sod in, if you can see it. See it? There was a tree here, I grind. It was ground. We dug the stump up, ground it, topsoiled it, got it all ready to roll. Beautiful. That's a better look. There we go. I got, I actually guessed the amount. And that's all I got right here. I'll seed that little seed. I'll bring a little topsoil, dress it around here, take any little humps or bumps out, and around the edges. A little damage right here. It's a little light. Could be some grubs in there. This right here is from me, actually. I had the fertilizer spreader. It's a rookie mistake. Fertilizer spreader had the, the valve open. I'm filling up a little bit more fertilizer. Dumped it right on the ground. <laughs> I'll scuff that up. Seed it. You won't even know it was there. But look at the backyard. Look at that. Mint. Right about here, you can see it. This is all, all new grass, all this, all this, about to the edge of this mess over here, right up in here, right up through here. You can kind of see it right there. It's all new. Not bad. They're in here. I know it. This is the second year, so I did a little experiment. This is a two-year little experiment. This same spot, if you go back in my videos, you'll see I repaired this spot before and up on here on the hillside. So I, I'm doing this for you guys. To me, it's just a hobby I play. So, you know, I'll get this thing. Give it two weeks. So it'll look like, look beautiful here. See my spot over there? That'll look good too. This will be all, all green, all nice and matching. Throw a little seed around there. Water it like, like crazy. Once, twice a day, water. You know, until you get the, the grass established. Once you're established, cut back maybe in the morning. Switch it up. Try in the morning, try in the night, whenever you can. Okay, here's another little spot. This is just a little brown spot. I just took the rake to this. It looked like this, kind of like grass, but there was a couple little bare spots. I took the rake, raked the stuff back. Look, the roots just roll right, rolls right back. Now get down to that root layer. Just peel, look, it's peeling right back. It shouldn't be doing that, this grass. So to eat the roots, they weaken the root of the grass. Actually, I just had a, a grub right here. Where'd he go? He took off on me. See, oh, there's some worms. That's good. Where'd he go? He just was here. Well, I got some worms. Yeah, there they are. See? It's right there. The root, there it is. There's a grub. See him? A little white grub. So what I say is rake this up, topsoil it, take a pitchfork around this, lighten up the area, hit it with seed. If you got some chunks of sod like I did over here, put the sod down, fertilize this regular nice good starter fertilizer on it, and you get this lawn really pumped up. Look at him, he's trying to get away. He's just munging on my grass. Look at this backyard. Gorgeous. Here, I'll give you a thumbs up. Huh? Can you tell us a thumbs up? <laughs> Perfect. Now, I got this little spot. One spot here. Now, I got my little broken pitchfork. It's a digging fork. They're harder. This is harder uh, prongs. You can dig with it. Right here was a tree about four years ago. Look at the side, how it comes up like nothing see that that's a sign of grubs look at what we got mr grubby it's that easy don't be afraid see that i knew he was there i don't need to see him i can see that little imperfection of a little brown see how easy that sod came up that's that's how you can tell now if i go to do five more feet over now watch watch i'll go over here not even i'm three feet ready look at one, two, three feet, say, right? 
Look at this grass stone. You can't get that. The, you can't dig that grass up. See the difference? But over here, where it's a little brown, watch this. See that? See the difference between that? That's how you can tell. Gabish? Right in the edge here. That's what I just dug up. Are they in there? Showing mama. Oh, yeah. Now, a little critter been coming here at night. There's another sign you, you can see these. And they've been eating. So if you got sign of critters eating in your lawn, that's one. Now watch. Right here. It's not there. <laughs> Look out instantly, Ma. Let me see. Where'd he go? He oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Just want to prove something here. I'm in a better spot of the lawn. I'm just getting under the getting under the sod. Nothing. Nothing in there. Just worms, see? That's the good stuff. Just Mr. Wormy. Yeah, there's nothing here. So this lawn is spotty. And you can you can see the spots here where they are. See? Right here's a little brown. Right there's a little brown. Right where my shadow is here. A little brown. Got a little greeny today. Dilox. Got this over at site one. Got some speed zone for the broad leaf. I already did that one spot. I got I gotta touch up some areas. This is a granular. Okay, Okay. here's some instructions. Now I'm running a Lusco spreader. 11. Come back here. I was running a little heavy, if you notice. 11. But my sake, I run quick, so I'm going to go to 12. I kind of move quick here because I like broadcasting a little wider. We're going to run it like that. Okay, let's go over these uh, instructions. Uh, half inch of thatch. I thatch this lawn every year. Check. Water the turf. Cut to proper height. Did that yesterday. And I've been my mother's been watering this lawn. Broadcast spreader. We do have that. Water in after. We'll get her on that. And let's see what we got here. Root zone. Watering in. Okay, that's good. We're good. We did everything they want. Just a little shout out to the District 2 Rotterdam firemen. I guess they had a big fire last night on Gilborn Avenue. Uh, I think there were apartments or a commercial building. I didn't get any details yet. But look at these boys over here. Cleaning them, cleaning them lines up. Dragging them out. See that guy over there to the right? Dragging that line out. Got the boys on the hydrant over here where that light is. And they're cleaning up. This is volunteer people. These are the guys that come and save your butt when your, butt, when your house is, is uh, burning to the ground. So just give them a little uh, high five when you see them, alright? It's about uh, probably 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. And they're out here hustling, cleaning up the equipment. And I'm over here watering my lawn. Look at this. Because it's 85 degrees out. Whoop, whoop.